Gentlemen and wordsmiths of all ages, welcome to another installment of How To with M. This is video number three, Word Power. In this video, we will explore commonly misused words. What the gentleman will say, what he thinks, what he said means, and then the true definition of the word. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Chronic, a type of potent cannabis, or severe, or extreme. The real definition? Over a long period of time, usually over one year. Commonly used in medical vernacular. Ironic or irony. You'll see the clown holding a joker. Something funny and abnormal. The true definition is contrary to what is expected. You would never expect to have three jokers in one deck of cards. Having three jokers in your hand is ironic. Slut. A sexually active, unloyal woman. A woman that screws around. The real definition? An untidy or unkept woman. I often felt there should be a word for a man slut. Travesty. A horrible accident or mishap. The real definition is a mockery or parody such as in a kangaroo court. A kangaroo court is a travesty of justice. Peruse, to glance over, to scan through. The real definition, to observe something in detail or great depth. When you peruse a book, you look at every detail in depth. Nauseous. Ill. Being ill. Sick to your stomach. The real definition of nauseous is things that cause feelings of illness. Plethora, <laughs> that is El Guapo, with three amigos on the upper left. Plethora, many, a plethora of people. The real definition of plethora, more than is needed. Dork, a whale's penis, or a strange, nerdish guy. The real definition? A penis from any species. How a whale's penis was singled out as a dork is unknown. Enormity. Something very large or enormous. The real definition is profoundly immoral or evil. It is better to be silent and thought to be a fool than to speak up and remove all doubt.
general, when I talk to myself, guys always say I sound like a couple of boobs. In mass marketing to consumers, all too often words are chosen that are misleading or confusing or simply sound better or more inviting than the true definition of the word. Let's say poor represents an ass card that doesn't work well. And fair is represented by the world famous Anheuser Busch wagon being pulled by Clydesdales. Good is represented by a Ford F-350 truck pulling a flatbed trailer. Better is represented by a Ford L-series large rig. Now we come to best. And this is very important to understand. If something is said to be best, such as a Peterbilt, semi-tractor trailer, 18-wheel over-the-road rig, it means it is as good as any other. Now, this by definition doesn't mean any other. Certainly, the Peterbilt is better than the ass cart that doesn't work or the other haulers we looked at. In marketing, the legal definition of best is as good as any other better than better item. And let me explain. Assuming that our Peter built is as good as a white freight liner or Kenworth, or top-of-the-line Mack. Then all four trucks are best, because best does not mean superior. It means as good as any other that is better. It's quiz time! Assuming there are no impurities, which distilled water is best? Deer Park, Arrowhead, Poland Spring, and let's throw in great value for good measure. Pencils at the ready. The correct answer is all four are best. Please remember this next time you hear an advertisement or marketing campaign that says, we have or we are the best. However, in this case, Chief Science Officer Mr. Spock, after perusing Vulcan distilled water, with the Vulcan mine meld has indicated the distilled water from his planet is superior. Yay! Prepare to die. Prepare to die. Please subscribe. Please subscribe.